Hey, Hammered. So let's move it from uh, how these people could uh, could change society in a way that their looks are uh, or their behavior, their different behavior, let's quote unquote, uh, onto these looks. Let's talk about these looks. And uh, I started thinking about it, and I realized actually I've been looked at in ways that I didn't like at all. I came up with three examples. Um, one was uh, I walked into a uh, a rest stop out, uh, I think it was in Wyoming, and uh, it was kind of a uh, an experimental rest stop. The whole thing was uh, powered by solar and radiant heat, and um, everything about this place was uh, special and different and almost kind of like a showcase. Um, and so I walked in, and a guy right behind me walked in, and I immediately sat down on a bench. Actually, I just I didn't have to use the restroom. I just wanted to get out of the sun. And uh, the guy that walked in right behind me turned and looked at me and said, Do you know where the drinking fountain is? And uh, the room is kind of featureless, um, except for a uh, there's like a podium or a pedestal. And it didn't look like a drinking fountain except for it was the only thing, you know, it had a bowl-like top. It was the only thing that I thought could possibly be a drinking fountain. So I pointed at it and said, well, might that be a drinking fountain? Because we'd both walked in at the same moment. You know, I didn't know. I, it's not like I've come to this uh, rest stop all the time. It's the first time I'd been there. And I'd only been in there like two seconds more than he'd been in there. And he'd watched me sit right down. And so he looked over at it. And uh, I guess from uh, because he was standing up, he could probably see that there was a uh, a fountain in the in the bowl. And he looked back at me and said, "Well, I guess you feel you're pretty smart, then, huh?" And uh, and then just glared at me, like completely forgot he was thirsty. Now now he just the reason he came in there was not to get a drink of water, and the reason he went in there was to get angry at me. That's <laughs> what it seems like. And uh, I was like thinking. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think that I'm uh, smarter than you. I just think that I have more survival value. Um, but it occurred to me, like, why did we both walk in there uh, and within seconds he couldn't find the drinking fountain and within seconds I could? And uh, it occurred to me that it, it was imagination. Um, so I'll, I'll move on to my second story. <laughs> um... I was walking along uh, the coastline, and there was a, uh, a monolithic rock sticking out of the ocean. And the rock, uh, especially because of the light, the rock was really black. But the way the light was cutting across it at an angle, it was hitting certain trees sticking out from it. So it was like this black rock with electrically lit, almost, uh, um, plants sticking out, out of it. And then behind it, it was in a gray sea and a gray sky. Um, and someone said, uh, as I walked by this group of people, someone said, I was, oh, I was, I'll mention also that I'm holding a, uh, a rolled up kite. And the rolled up kite has a glittering uh, tail uh, streaming from behind it. And one of the guys in this group said, man, that rock looks weird. And I looked at it and I said, yes, it's almost like there's been a crack in the sky and the sky has fallen away to reveal what's behind it. And what's behind it is a, a black night uh, filled with electrically, electric green clouds. And then all these guys looked at me, almost with hate. And uh, I thought, you don't see that? <laughs> I held up the kite up in the air like it was a wand and shook it at them and said... I'm now blessing you with imagination. <laughs> so then they had a reason to hate me. But their initial angry reaction was just on the fact that I would look at something. You know, they would look at that rock and say, that rock looks weird. And I'd look at it and see a portal into another existence. And uh, I think they were angry about that. So I think, once again, that had something to do with the fact that um, I was perceiving things differently than they were. And... Uh, you know, in, in some cases, I think, and more so, uh, more effectively, uh, in the drinking fountain case, and uh, maybe just more enjoyable in the rock case. 
Um, let's see, what was the what was the third example? Oh, I remember. I was walking through a park, and one of the things I thought kind of interesting, and I thought probably why the guy spoke to me, is we were both dressed like construction workers, and I was walking through the park, and in this open field was a group of people all dressed like uh, warriors and, uh, and wizards. Um, you know, they're all in costumes, and they're all running around fighting each other with foam weapons. Uh, there was a person in the middle shouting out, uh, The thief has turned! The thief has turned! Um, you know, your, your fireball has missed. Um, things like that. And uh, this guy looked at me and said, What in the F are those freaks doing? And I looked over at them and, and watched them for a couple of minutes, and I said, I think they're doing role play, and I think that guy in the middle is kind of like the uh, the organizer moderator, and uh, he's uh, um, a, you know acting like uh, the enforcer of of the rules. And he looked at me with that angry look. Uh, he, he looked at me with loathing, as if I had done that, if I'd, I'd set this up. And he says, "Well, have you seen this before?" And I'm like, "No, this is the first time I've seen this kind of thing." And his look got even angrier. And I'm like, why is this guy so furious? He acts like I arranged this for him. And I think once again, it was that we had both walked up, we both saw the same thing, and uh, I had uh, I had some answers. I don't know if they were right. I don't know what those guys were doing, but I had I had a guess. And uh, once again, I think it came down to what my imagination told me. So maybe. These people. Uh, so now we'll, let's go back to the uh, the guy that's the post-apocalyptic uh, warrior uh, steampunk guy. Uh, maybe he looks over at somebody and sees this loathing and anger, and he thinks it's directed at him. But I think what it really is is someone's looking at him, and their imagination gives them no information. They can't conceive of what's going on for that guy, and it's almost like a personal insult. This person's doing something that I can't figure out. And uh, that makes me feel angry. Like, you know, the whole, uh, I bet you think you're smart thing. You know, I bet you think you're creative. You know, whatever, whatever it is, is like you've done something that insults me because I can't figure it out. So I know this is, that's kind of like, it's just kind of an anti-talk. Uh, like, uh, I'm not necessarily angry at those people, but I have uh, encountered these angry looks. And uh, I've come to a conclusion that isn't very flattering, um, so I'm, I'm totally open to a new conclusion. Um, but that's just kind of my thoughts at the moment. All right, back at you, Hammered.